Good morning, scholars. The last page of lesson two. Every end of a lesson has a journal entry for us to read. Remember, we're on Safari as we go through the second grade spelling book. So we have our Safari journal, and this one is titled The Grassland. Got a nice picture for us to look at, just like if he was making a journal and adding things to it. Let's take a look at our directions, all right? Today, our nature guide has given us a handout to read about the grassland. Ha, huh, so we're gonna circle, so circle, circle. We're gonna circle all of the floss words. I'm gonna make an important underline there. You can find not just the pattern words, all of the floss words. And I'm gonna tell you up front, the compound words are counting it as floss words because compound words are two words that come together and make a bigger word. And right here's an example, grassland. We've got the word grass and we have the word land. We put them together, we get the longer word grassland. So individually, grass is a floss word. You can circle just that front or you can circle the compound word, doesn't matter. So compound words, two words come together to make a bigger word. They don't change, they just join together. So grassland. So I would just circle the compound word grassland because it has the floss word in it. So maybe that will help you if mom and dad are helping and they're saying, no, no, that's not what you do. But compound word, it's got it in there. The word has not changed. So we're still gonna circle it, all right? So you're gonna go through and look for all the floss words you can find. Remember, double the consonant for F, L, and S at the end of a single syllable word. So you're looking for words that have F, L, and S doubled at the end. Those will be your floss words. You should be pretty um, knowledgeable about that now. Then you're gonna to go to the bottom. You have to do this part too. So I'm gonna put a star here. This is practicing our reading fluency. You have to read this aloud to someone. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, someone who can run a stopwatch or time you while doing this. So you can write down how long does it take you to read the grassland. So how long they have to time you. Maybe you can read it in two minutes and 10 seconds. So you would write two minutes, 10 seconds, and you can just put an M for minutes and S for seconds. Or you can write it this way, two minutes, 10 seconds, whatever, however you wanna write it. You have to read it aloud to someone, practice your fluency. Fluency is the rate at which you read, so how fast or how slow Remember I said last week that at the end of second grade, most scholars were reading 90 words or above the end of second grade. So this has 136 words in it. So that might take you a minute and a half, two minutes to read because that's more than 90. And most scholars are reading 90, minute, 90 words per minute at the end of second grade but we wanna get there. So if you're still reading really slow and you're not quite there, the best way to practice your reading fluency is to reread the same passage over and over again or the same book. You're putting those words into your brain, it's becoming familiar. So you're reading at a rate that's nice, not too slow, not too fast because if you're reading too fast, no one can understand what you're saying and your brain can't comprehend it. So you're reading at a good rate, accurate words, so you're not making up words and throwing them in there. You are reading for comprehension. So I always put these down. And you're reading with expression. It looks like race, but we're not having a race, so it's kind of weird. But fluency, rate, how fast or slow you're reading. You want it to be just right at a nice rate. Not too slow and not too fast, all right? You wanna be accurate, so you wanna be reading the words correctly. 
You want to comprehend or understand what you're reading. And you want to read with expression. So if it's an exciting sentence, you might get excited. If it's a question, you're going to ask it, who did that? You're going to ask with a questioning voice. Sometimes you can even change your voice for characters. So that's a fun one, expression. So rate, which is the speed or the, or the rate, how fast, how slow you want it to be just right. A for accuracy, you want to make um, as few mistakes as possible because you don't want to put the wrong word in. C for comprehension, big font. So what for do you understand what you read? And E for expression. Do you add the exciting, the question marks, the voices? Read with expression. So that's our goal of fluency. So we keep reading, we practice, and we get better little steps at a time. So you have to circle the words and you have to read to someone. So they can time you and put your answer here. This part, we can scribble scrabble that out because we don't have those. So you do not have to do that, okay? So you X that out. But remember to do the top and the bottom of this page. You want to practice, practice your reading aloud to someone. Share your great words with people. Read aloud to mom or dad or grandma, grandpa, cousins, whoever you're reading aloud to. Someone that can time you, can appreciate what a great reader you are. All right? And that's going to end our lesson about the floss words. So let's repeat our chant. Make sure we understand it. All right, let's do it. Short vowel words. You double the consonant F, L, or S at the end of a single syllable word. Floss words. All right, till we start lesson three. Go out and do great things.